torturers. Okay. Get the towel off. No. It's time for the birthday war show match. We have Rikiras, Gaku, Philip, Lexnos, and Fatal. For my team and team Erica has P. Castro, Klaus, Leo, Damien, and Eric. But let's jump into the war with P. Castro kicking us off. What is the plan? With a skelly bat donut to remove this client castle. The multi-target inferno as well. And no seasonal troops are allowed in this birthday war show match. Here we go. Hmm. Taking out that with some tassels in the core for Philip here. The defensive rage goes off. Got a couple sneakies off to the left. We got an ice golem. King into the enemy queen up top. And the headhunter up on that queen as well. Taking her out with ease. What does he have on the ability? Okay, he's got regular ability. Oh, he's got healer. Level 16 healers already for P. Castro. Wait a second. Hold on. My goodness. Okay. He's turning. He's going to turn this into a little bit of a queen charge. As that king. Oh, is he going to? No, he's not going to go up to the scatter shot. The queen is going to try to make her way closer to that monolith. And that RC ability did get forced here. Not going to get much further, but... Pops that queen ability. The healers are down on the queen now. And it's a... Oh, but the town hall is activated. And the town hall will be going down to sneaky goblins here. There's the sneakies. He's got one invis. Okay, the queen got healed up. Out of range of the town hall now. As he's going to continue his way through. Town hall goes down. Balloons down onto the archer tower. And we got some minions just down there with the queen. But then he's going to come in with that Lalo. We got ricochet cannons. We got... Where's the multi arch tires? Unless he already took them down and I wasn't even paying attention. Pops an early, early warden ability here. Protecting that hound to the right side. And he's coming across with that warden still flying through. Okay. Can he make his way up with the hound to the top side? And we've got the balloons continuing, trying to make their way into the core. And he freezes up that multi. And that eagle artillery. As he continues his way around. We got the minions down south. Balloons coming in. He's got that last freeze. He's got a lot of balloons in the core. But the defensive rage does go off. But it's just raging up Teslas. And the builder hut at the moment. And P. Castro has a bunch of balloons. Coasting their way into the middle. And P. Castro making it look easy. Look at that. My goodness, well done. And he's got 23 seconds. It's plenty of time. And P. Castro is going to be kicking this one off with a three star taken down Phillips' base. My goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and add a three star to the board for P. Castro here. Three star, 100%. And Philip is in with some super dragons taking on damien all right here we've got a skelly we've got a poison as well we're using a bat spell right in the beginning here to help take out this air defense the e-drag gets some chain value we do have sweepers pointing down here will the sweepers get it shot off Let's see what Philip can do. The mortar's going down. One E-Drag makes it in. So he's going to rage up the E-Dragon through the Eagle Artillery. And it skips and absolutely snipes right on through. Takes out the defensive rage. Takes out the multi-target Inferno. What a valuable E-Dragon just like that. As we got the Super Dragons coming on through. My goodness, as he frees up that enemy queen so he can help take her down. Continue with a couple more balloons. He's got that rage gem on that warden. Already level 15. He's got the... The giant gauntlet is on the king here as he continues this push into the core. Pops that warden eternal tome to protect these super dragons. E-dragon's in the middle as well. Blimp makes it to the town hall. He freezes the town hall and the monolith together. And the king is not yet deployed. He needs that blimp to help secure the town hall. And yes, the balloons come out. They take it down with ease. As we have super dragons coming out of here to continue their way through. We got the king now making his way all the way up with a freeze under the monolith. 
Popping that ability. There's that giant, massive king gauntlet as he continues his way through. Freezing up the monolith. The multi continues around the space. And it's now up to his heroes. That path his way around. And yes, Philip is smashing this one. Answering. Do we have the advantage because of time? You know, just say it. If it comes down to it, Damien's base going down. Still got queen ability. Still got RC ability here with a freeze and invis. Some swag points, right? There's swag points in this, huh? Oh my. What an attack here from Philip. Absolutely crushing Damien's base. Gotta take some notes. And we'll be able to add a three star to the board for Philip. GG. A brilliant attack. My goodness. Let's go and put three stars on the board for Philip. Getting that four team fin. And that's a 100% all tied up in this match. Good luck to you, Leo, against Gaku. And he's got himself the maxed out Fox with a power potion. He's got the power potion, the hero potion. He's got it all. He's ready to take down Gaku here with double rec... Double recalls? Hold on. He's got Root Riders. Okay. Starting off with that queen to the bottom side. Into the enemy royal champion. How is he going to double recall? Ow! Pulls a Seeking Airbind. He decided not to drop the balloon, but Gaku's outside Seeking Airbind snipes a healer. Ooh, what a nice play there from Gaku as we got a Warden already deployed on the top side. Recalling that queen just like that. Now, he did drop a balloon up top, maybe thinking there might be another Sam up there. But he's got another recall. He's going to recall the queen yet again. Taking his time. That Warden's raged up. The Headhunter's raged up through that queen. And his queen's still going. What does he got here? He's got healers on his queen. He's obviously got that Rage Jam. What does he have on his king? The normal king ability here. As that queen ability was forced now and healers pop up. <laughs> Okay, so he's got more healers that came out of here. Taking out that eagle with ease. Very nice. And the warden's trying to continue his way through. Drops a headhunter for the defensive king. S uses a free spell here. And that warden's slowly pushing his way into... Oh, that ground expo. The ricochet cannon. There. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. The warden ability was forced. And the multi stays up. This is not good here for Leo as Gaku's base is looking to try to hold. The town hall's here. The Root Rider's giving him access, but no Warden ability now. There's a Rage. Try to Rage up the healers. Out comes Rocket Loons. Super minions out of here. Does freeze up that multi-target Inferno. Trying to continue his way through. But remember, no Warden ability to utilize since it was already forced. He drops an Electro Titan a little bit late. As an Ice Golem's going up and to the top side around. But we have multi-Archer Towers around this Town Hall as he continues his way towards the Town Hall here. And he rages up leading into it. He's continuing. We got the Flame Flinger already placed down to the bottom side. That might have been placed ages ago. Taking in a sweet time. The Town Hall has been secured. The Warden is dead. Super Barb's coming around the edge. The Royal Champion's moving in with the Fox. Leading in towards the mile. If the Queen's ability's already been forced, she's going to go down here. As this multi-archer tower is going to now lock onto the RC. He decides to rage her up. He's trying to continue his way through. But a bunch of ground skeletons popping up in this area. That flame flinger is continuing down here. As the RC is going to get stuck on skeletons. We got the RC ability to be able to be utilized. Skipping across. But the fox needs to make her invisible. And it does. The fox. But he finds a tornado trap. He's only got 23 seconds left. The multi-archer tower is doing work. Absolutely sniping that fox. But the RC goes invisible yet again. And the fox now dies. No. Yes, it does. Super minions do come out. The RC is going to go down. And Leo is unfortunately going to fall short. Gaku's going to defend here. 89% two star. Let's put that on the board here for Leo. Two stars right here. 89%. And Gaku is now in on Leo. And look at the base. Ooh, the anti two star. Okay. Leo's giving that tunnel in the core with that flame flowing being used off to the start to the right side here. That queen up top near the archer tower. The air defense. We do have a recall that Gaku is going to look to pull back. Air defense is going down. 
Taking a sweet time. There's the recall of the queen. Okay. We have sweepers both pointing down to the bottom side of this space here. Air defense is going down. Balloons. Dr super dragons. Warden. Going to move his way into the eagle artillery. Going to fly his way into there. There's the defensive rage. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That, that builder. That builder was jumping. It was crazy. As he continues his way in, he's going to try to save. And, oh, no. He pops an early Warden Eternal Tome. He's got... Oh, we got a level 10 King Gauntlet. Okay, here. I see you, Gaku. The Flame Flingers are going to open up from that ground expo. As he continues his way into the Town Hall. Stops the enemy queen from getting... He freezes her up. Freezes up the defensive rage. Smashes through that Town Hall. As he continues his way through. As he's pulling these traps in the core. But look at these Super Dragons. Doing work in the core of this base. And he still has his RC to utilize as the defensive rage is wearing off. As the king's going to become a giant king here on the back side of this base. As he's continuing his way around. Oh my god, that's so crazy. Every time it happens, the king right there making his way around. The warden dies off. The king is taking the damage from the expos. And he still has a rage and a freeze left. How is this even fair? My goodness, what a king there. The skeleton spell distracting a little bit more here onto that mile of Ngaku. Crushing the anti two star design with the recalled super dragons. Ooh, this is this is why you select Gaku on your team. Yes, Team Finn all the way and swag and two spells. My goodness, Gaku. How? Well, we just know we put three stars on the board for team Ga for Team Finn. I mean, it is also Team Gaku. There it is, 100% right there. Six to five right now. Damien is now in against Rikiras. And Damien has selected a Zap Lalo. Okay. How is he going to take down Rikiras' base? With a Lightning to help remove the Ground Expo, the Multi, and the Defensive Rage spell. Rocket Loons up top into the Mortar. Okay, I see you, Damien. He's got a golem as well. What does he have on this king? Yeah, oh, level 13 giant gauntlet. Okay, now you always have to check. All right, we're going to see that giant king coming in very soon. As he's going to push his way into the monolith. Balloons off to the right side onto that archer tower. King is slowly going into this section. Golem is down with a queen behind the monolith. Locks out of the key. Oh my gosh, how is that even fair? Look at that. Absolutely makes easy work of that monolith there. Woo. Okay. As he continues his way through, the log launch is opening, but that multi, that double arch tower is nasty. It is hitting so hard on this queen. Popping the ability, taking that down as he continues his way through. The king does come back to life here. Sends in the RC now in towards that scatter shot. Oh, this cow shot does unfortunately lock on to the queen. He's got a poison. He is pulling out. Okay, it's ice golem, so it's not the end of the end of the world here. As he continues his way through, we do have a defensive raid spell near the town hall. The RC takes out that scatter shot, and here comes the Lalo. Into the town hall he goes. He's gonna freeze up the rage, freeze up the multi, but he's now has that town hall also raised up, so he's forced with the freeze onto it. He's continuing his way around. The Hound comes across, but he did. He dropped that Hound too early because he's forced to pop that Warden ability. And Rikiras is seeing a... The Tornado Jab is perfectly placed to stop those balloons in their tracks to try to get hit by that Tunnel Poison. But he's still got nine more balloons. He's popped that RC ability. The balloon's coming around towards the enemy queen. We got balloons up to the top side. We got the Scatter. We've got a multi-arch tower. We got four headhunters to send into that defensive queen. Are they able to then pick her off? But they first go to the king to the bottom side. The multi-arch tower is doing work to these balloons. Oh my! The uh, multi-arch tower is sniping those loons so quick and picking everything off. Yo, this is why you want a multi-archer tower. If that was a regular archer tower, he would have tripled. It would have been overwhelmed, but no. That defense stops him, and Rikiras is gonna hold. That multi-archer tower did work. Now the store to the backside. He'll get up to a 94% here. Oh my, very nice try, Damien. Coming so close. That, that multi-archer tower is all it took. 
and sniping away. The fox could become invisible, but it's going to go down fast. Kitty being hit by three arrows at once. Oh, that fox is trying its absolute best. You know, look at that fox. Oh, rip. And Rikiris holds the defense. 94% two-star. All right, let's put that to Damien. Another two-star for Team Erica. 94%. Rikiras is in on Klaus. All right. With the... Ooh, a Skelly Donut Lalo using the hero potions. It would be nice if the hero potions also boosted and max your hero equipment. Oh, imagine that. Or unless they bring out a new potion that's a hero equipment potion. I bet. I would assume one day maybe they bring that out. That would have been nice to have though, you know? Oh, Klaus with a troll Tesla. Are there troll Teslas in all the corners? Oh, 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 wait. Hold on. There's the Skelly Donut right there to help grab the multi-target Inferno. The grab the clan castle. It's going down. CC is secured. And the mul- Wait, what? Whoa, he's going to get the other multi. Yo, and this one goes down. No, he gets that one, but not that one. What are you just going for the whole time? <laughs> How does- Rikiris gets to the other multi that he wasn't probably... I mean, he was probably planning to get both of them, but... The original one, he never got. Okay. With that king coming to the left side. We've got the queen down. They're gonna push his way through. Flame Flinger continuing to the bottom. Ice Golem now out in front of this queen. The path his way through. No clan castle to worry about, which is nice. That king does not have any... Oh, Rikiris doesn't have any special abilities for his heroes other than the normal ones, as he makes the queen invisible to continue her charge through. The king, with the phoenix, will be able to help secure this town hall. As we pop, pop the queen ability, taking out the enemy queen. The king, though, is trying his absolute best to get to the, ki the town hall. But unfortunately, he does have to come back alive. And he's trying. The skeletons really stole him up. And he's not going to get the town hall of Klaus. The town hall is going to stay. So he sends the RC now in. The Phoenix. Wait, the Phoenix. The Phoenix. The Phoenix has tried. But the builders are there. And he's got the raw champ. Oh, he hates. He freezes. Uh-oh. Klaus is looking to try to hold Rikiras here as he continues around. The Hound now comes across. There's the Warden ability. Helps protect the Headhunters. The Royal Champions come around. Yes, there is a Troll Tesla in the right side. There might be even a Troll Tesla at the 12 o'clock that he has. Wait, no, there can't be because he's already past 50%. He drops a couple of balloons off to the right side. He has the Hound still continuing. Rocket Loons coming out of that Flame Flinger. Taking out the Monolith. Now he's going to move his way to that multi Archer Tower. He's got a Freeze. He's continuing his way around. Freezes the back end air defense to have some balloons and he's okay. The Tattle doesn't go down, but Rikiras, he doesn't freak out. He still delivers and gets a three-star. GG. You know, whoever questioned Rikira is nobody, right? I would never question this man. Absolutely not. Rikira is with the triple. Not even taking out the town hall, but still managed to get the three-star. GG, Rikira is... My goodness, let's put a three-star on the board for him. Taking down Klaus's base. Three and a 100%. It is nine to seven. Team Finn in the lead. Eric is in against Fatal. And Eric's got... Oh my god, he's got 12 Room Riders. Oh boy, okay, Eric. I see, I see. Okay. Eric will triple. Where's your witches, Eric? Where's your we witches? We have to save this war. It's down to us. <laughs> and here uh, comes Team the Room Riders. drafted you because of witches. Your witch ability. Whoa. Or maybe it was your spam ability. <laughs> oh my god. Eric! Oh boy. Eric's like, yo, I wish I could use the seasonal troops right now. Yo, that is an early warded ability here for Eric. Wow, okay. And he's got a siege barracks that he drops now. Well, forgot a, he forgot about that a little bit. Well, that multi and that ricochet cannon is doing a lot of damage here to Eric's root riders there. Out comes. Ice Golems, a Rocket Loon coming out of the defensive clan castle as he's continuing around. Eric, you can't one star this now. What's your plan to get to the town hall? He d I guess his plan was for Root Riders to open up access through the whole base. Oh! We got the defensive rage going off, but yes, okay, a couple Root Riders going to the left side for that queen to get access to the town hall. 
We do have the regular abilities here for his heroes. Uh, except the rage gem is on that warden. Right, come on, go back, queen. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, what do we do here? What do we do? What do we do? What's our answer? What's our answer? To Eric? 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 He's got the RC. Where is she? Is she in the mix? Yeah, she's in the mix. He's making his way through. Um, uh, the town. Eric? Come on, Grand Skelly is me up here. Get the diggy to get the stun here soon. I'm gonna pop the RC ability here and get through a little bit faster. Come on, RC, get that stun. There we go, there we go. All right, King's still working. Come on, come on, come on. Get the town hall. No! Somebody take the town hall to one star. <laughs> oh, no. It's not a one, okay. He's, he was probably sweating. He was sweating there. He didn't want a one star. But Eric didn't bring his witches, you know? Where's the witches? Oh, boy. Well. Nice try to you, Eric. 85%. That's now three two stars for Team Erica. Team Finn is looking good here in the Birthday War show match. Nice try. 82%. No. Yeah. Two star, 86%. Gotta get it right. All right. Nice try, Mr. Eric. Nice try. Two star, 86%. Fatal is in versus Eric. And what do you have up your sleeve, Fatal? Fatal's got himself five healers. He's got a couple, five root riders as well. Okay. Hmm. What are you going to do against Mr. Eric? We got a heal spell. We got an invis, one skelly. We do have the king off to the right. We got, okay, we're starting off with that yeti. Probably testing for Teslas. That queen is down. Do we have any special abilities? No, nothing other than the rage with that warden. Okay, that Yeti is getting hit. Going down. The queen's continuing. We do have some Teslas popping up by that multi target inferno. Dropping the balloon with that queen. Hasn't deployed his healers just yet. That flame fling is continuing through. There's the healers now finally deployed. There's a rage. And whoo, that queen ability not being forced. Keeping that intact. Making that invisible top to make sure that the queen comes back around for the multi-target inferno. And he drops a wall break into the town hall compartment to get access with a headhunter that is now down on the defensive king. As he continues his way through. And that flame flinger is outranging the ricochet cannon and the scattershot over there. And that queen is working out of the town hall. This is a lot of damage. Is he going to have the force queen ability? No. He drops a couple sneakies in this area to help get through that storage a little bit quicker. As he works his way towards the ground expo. And the root riders are down. King's making his way to the left. Queen is getting locked down by the monolith. Does still have her ability. Rages are up to keep the damage onto her. So that the other troops, the root riders, don't take the damage. As he now pulls out the clan castle of a lava hound. Headhunters as well. We've got the ground skeletons popping up here. But he's making easy work. Especially with that poison lizard. As he's continuing his way through towards that eagle artillery. Super minions have come out of the flame flinger. And my goodness guys. This is not looking too bad. He's, this is looking really good. As that queen ability has been forced. And he's Yo. Fatal, you still have your warden ability. You still have your warden eternal tome. Don't you dare swag your warden ability, Fatal. Don't swag it against Eric. What is happening? Holy jeez. Looks like he's going to try to sway, straight up swag his grand warden ability. Oh, no. Well, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Oh, man. I mean, I, I, I missed, and then he triples me like this. Like, of all ways to get tripled. To get triple of the swag ward ability, add the swag freeze, add the swag poison. Oh, my goodness, Fatal absolutely smashing this one. There's the ward ability. It's swagged, doesn't even need it, and Team Fit is looking strong. What? Fatal, my goodness, look at this team. Three stars, three stars. Three stars. Eric, Eric has got to have to start taking some notes here. Klaus, the one and the only. Oh, gosh, he wants the thumbnail. He's got 100 barbarians and 100 archers. Okay. I can only expect, I can only expect Lex to no, say, so, uh, Lex is like, don't do this. Don't, don't make me retire at Tunnel 16. I mean, Lex is already retired. Arch troops versus my base. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, Klaus just had to get the thumbnail, bro. Barbs, a hundred archers. He's barging Lexnos. He's looking to skelly donut the clan castle. Take it out the multi-target Inferno. Here we go. Yes, that is down. There's, there's this. No. What, what kind of heroes? You got the giant gauntlet. You got the regular on the queen. And okay. She's gotten the warden down. Here we go. The bar to town 16. Let's see if it works. He's going for the thumbnail. I don't even think, it, even if it doesn't work, he's still going for the thumbnail, no matter what. And the Klaus is moving his way into the Eagle Artillery. With the Barbarians. The Archers coming to, whoa, actually, that's actually smart. Look at that. The Barbarians distracting that Ricochet Cannon for a little bit so it doesn't get some hits off onto the heroes. But that, wait, the Giant, wait, the Golem's gonna become a Giant. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be the Golem Giant. Yo, look at that. That's the perfect skin that could become a giant king. Oh, oh my goodness. Yo, I just thought about that. And he comes back alive. Yo. And here is the jump as he's moving his way through. There's a rage as he tries to continue his way through. This is a lot of stuff. He's trying to push his way through with a warden and eternal tome. He pops the ability now. Can that queen make her way all the way to the town hall? He's got the barbarians. He's got the archers with the royal champion coming there. The queen should continuing to try to path her way to the town hall. But he does have that ability, which is going to be very, very strong. But the queen is not making her way towards the town hall at the moment. No, don't. Don't one star. Klaus, you got this, right? Okay, the queen comes back around. The ability for this queen is going to be clutch. Oh, he's going to have to burn the ability now to help take out that multi-archer tower. So, wait, the flame flinger is still up. It's still coming. He's still going. The town hall goes down. The RC goes down as well. What's inside this flame flinger? The queen takes out the multi-archer tower. She takes it down. The diggy can help stun. We got a super dragon. And Klaus is going to do it. Did Klaus just triple my Town Hall 16 base with 200 Barch troops. and delivers. 100 Barbarians, 100 Archers, and he just Skelly Donut Barched Lexnos. I'm sure, I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, Take your screenshots now. My goodness. What was that? Hello? Uh, is that, is that, is that five? Should I, should I put five stars there for the, <laughs> should I put five stars and make it a war because of what Klaus just did to Lexnos? <laughs> oh, three stars. Holy jeez. The moment of truth for Mr. Lexnos. If he triples, Team Finn goes perfect, right? I, I don't want to say, oh, I said it. Le Lex is now going to blame me for... Uh, okay, he's got seven root riders. Here we go. <laughs> okay. What's the plan here? No recall. Not trapping the healers just yet. Hmm. Healers down onto that queen now. A little off to the angle to the left side. Let's see. This queen's going to walk in towards this air defense. Quite a bit of damage with a wall break. Opens up into the scatter shot to give him access to that. Dropping the king to go into the multi-arch tower over there. And this is a charge for this queen. My goodness, with that town hall all the way in the middle. Popping that king ability. Taking down that enemy queen. Continuing his way through. The defensive rage goes off. But it is clipping both those multis in the core. And out comes triple ice golems here. Can the king take out the multi-arch tower? I don't think... I don't think so. He's going to die off. So that's going to be a problem for this queen charge. This is... Oh, at least the ground... Expo does go down, and the queen is out of range, barely, on that multi-archer tower. The ice golem actually saves him, so the queen can deal with these ice golems out of range of that multi. Unless this... Oh, what a wall break. Perfectly timed, so... The maxed wall! OP! Look at that! That's why you upgrade your walls, my friends! Because the wall breaker's not maxed, so the death damage didn't open it, so it forced Lex to drop another wall break. It's okay, because he doesn't need wall breaks anywhere. Hey, that's why you gotta upgrade your walls, right? Right? Even though with Rue Riders and everything. And he's continuing his way through to get this queen, to get access to the town. This is a lot of damage for the queen. A lot of damage, my friends. A lot of damage. The ricochet cannon's gonna... He makes the queen invisible. Okay. Come on, Lex. Come on. You got this queen to grab the town. There's a rage. Ground skeleton popping. Oh, the ricochet cannon. The eagle artillery. Ow, 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 ow. You got a pop ability? No, he uses... Ow, the sweeper's putting... Pushing the 
healers into the multi-archer tower, but the queen is now locking out of the town hall, taking that down as we got the warden moving in with the root riders. But the question is, does he have the time? He's not going to have the time potentially to move through. The queen's ability goes off, and she's getting pulled away from that eagle artillery. And the multi arch tower is absolutely smashing those healers as he pops the warden eternal tome. The queen goes down with only 43 seconds left here. He's continuing his way around the scatter shots on the back. So he's got a couple freezes. He's got a rage as these root riders are trying to give access around this base. But no. Laxidos. It's not looking like it'll be a three. He doesn't have the time here. He drops a rage to continue to path through with these root riders, freezing up the ricochet cannon. 20 seconds left. He took a lot of time on that queen charge to make sure she secured the top the town hall. Oh man. With 10 seconds left, he wanted he he did not want to get a one star, so he had to wait until the queen secured the town hall. And there's the RC ability going off. Does take out the model of it's probably gonna be a time fail at the end of the day with the battle drill. But Lex knows with a 78% two-star, what a great effort. So let's put that on the board. Lex, two-star, 78. But it's still a 14-12 victory for Team Finn. GG. But make sure you guys do not miss the birthday war. Team Finn versus Team Erica, 50 versus 50. Town Hall, 16 war. Coming on December 23rd and December 24th.